thank you for looking at our video. We've, we're just making a video for this combi camp, Panda. It's a full berth, it's got two separate bedrooms, um, which both can be to sleep in or to sit up in, um, as in like a settee, or one for sleeping and one made into a settee, or both settees or both beds. We'll see when we go inside. We've actually made the beds um, because when we bought it, it had it been completely ripped out, all of the bedding, all of the frame that the beds folded into. So we made them out of ply and wood. So uh, the reason why, one of the reasons why I'm making this video for eBay is simply to show you how the beds work because to try and explain it, it's too hot. So anyway, when we got it, it was in fairly poor condition as regards it. It, it, it got a hole in the roof in the corner, which we'll show you with mending. And also the corners where the, the frame is, coming through here, we've put new brass fittings and um, um, welted with the cotton inside and out. There is, some, there is still some problems with it as regards the zip, mostly on the other side, which we will show you. You can't remove all of the side panels. Some of them can, some of them can't. But we'll show you that in a minute. This is the living area in the back where the bedrooms are. And it's got windows like mesh here, which roll down, which I've left up to show you. Um, we've fitted new toggles to most of it. Also, round the outside of the tent, the um, fittings, I don't know if they're on this side. Yes, they are. These have had new Isabel fittings that we bought. We've got spares with it. They're all there all the way round to peg it out. Obviously, we've not pegged it out. Oh, another thing to say, it's very unlevel here where it's kept at the garage. And so it looks very poor. It's not pegged out. It's not guy line, nothing. We've changed the guy lines as well. They've been replaced. And if you come round here, you can now see the top where the mend is. It's a slightly different colour, a big patch, but my wife mended it. She, she used to make dresses and stuff, so it is a good job, although it is by hand. We did it in situ, so we had to climb up ladders and go in and out, in and out. And we did a good job. We've camped in it about, what, four times, four or five times? We've camped in it in severe bad weather in Shell Island in Wales. It doesn't leak anywhere. None of the canvas leaks. All of it's been coated twice with gold seal. So we did all of that. Um, there's new guys down this end. Anywhere where there's mended, we mended it absolutely the best we could. And um, there's not any mending at this side, actually, I don't remember. Um, oh, also, before I forget, the lid doesn't lock. So when you fold it all up, because it's like a concertina, once it's folded up, the lid goes down, the big roof rack goes on top, and just the sheer weight of it keeps it down. Um, you could put a tie wrap or, or make something, a strap, but it, it doesn't need it. We've, we've traveled miles with it and it doesn't move, particularly if you put things on the roof rack like push bikes and stuff like that. Right, so here's the front, here's the side door that we mostly use. So the zip on this is fine. I'll just tie this back for a minute because it makes it more easier to view. Okay, so, oh, another thing to say, which has come round here, babe, I'll just point out the little hole in the window. When we last camped in Wales, we were barbecuing in the tent because it was so bad, and we caught it with the lid of the barbecue, which put a small hole. It's, it looks a bit worse than it is because this is just pe this is just sellotape. It didn't leak at all, but you could take this tape off and renew it. You can actually buy this on the internet. We've mended a window before in a tent and you unpick all the stitching and cut it and fit it. It's a bit of a job, but if you're reasonably good at sewing, it is quite doable. I can't do it, but my wife can. Not that she'll do yours, but if you've got a wife that can, then you know what I mean. Right, so that... Hey? If you open the windows up, I'll be able to get a better... Yeah, yeah. You can talk on it, they won't bite you. Right, so this is the window you see where the damage is. So, like I say, everything else works, it's just that small hole in the window, but it doesn't leak at all. Um, another new toggle on here as well. The reason why it's got all new fittings and stuff is we were gonna use this for many years. We bought it mainly for the youth group and we were gonna cook in it. Now you'll see why, because we made the kitchen really good. So. It's got a shelf that folds up. It's got light under here, 12 volt. Open, 
the other two windows, so it's you a bit dark that. for the yeah. I know the it's a bit in shade over there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, this is the zip that's mostly. Uh, which one do you say? This down this. Uh, let me just explain the zip. So this zip here on the floor to the top is fine. So you can roll up the front. This zip from here that comes along here means you can remove the front, but you can't take it out. You can remove it and and fold it into this corner because here, look, it's been stitched where it should be able to be released. It's been damaged years ago, and so that doesn't work anymore. Also, you can see a lot minor hole. Just these are only small things, but we're pointing everything out. This zip does work, but again, we don't open it here because it's too it's too lightly to break. It, you can see that it's not in good condition at the top. So, if you want to open this again, it will open up to here, but I'd stop it here and then tie it back. So do you see, if you hope you understand what I'm saying, so you cannot remove this panel and take it away, but you can remove the front panel as in to make a big open tent and just tie it to this pole. It is made to do that anyway, or you can just roll it up and tie it with this, because that's what it's for, because it's quite high, so you don't have to remove it anyway. But it's just the point that obviously some of the models, you can completely remove all of the doors and windows to give you a completely open tent. Right, so there's some mark down here which we'll show you in a minute. It's not damaged, it's just it's just a mark. We don't know what, what it's been made of. It looks like tar or something, like when someone tried to do a mend years ago. So we replaced these. Now, these are not amazing. They did cost quite a bit of money. They're wooden and they do sometimes fall out when you fill them overly with things. But at the moment, they do work fine. There's storage space under here. My wife's made this, which clicks on here. It's this isn't amazing. It's best we could do. Rather than it's basically because it comes with nothing, so you have a hole. So your water tanks there, your pump, your gas bottle, your pipe, your on and off for your gas. She's also made this better, which fits round and gives pockets. Um, I made this wooden bit that gives access to your fridge, which does completely work. Gas, electric, fridge and a worktop and then we've got a knife and a cutlery drawer two drawers here and under here is the wires so we've got a plug for that if you're hooking up with electricity it's got a 12 volt if it's from a car or a van if you want and also when i find the end here we go this is for a 12 volt battery if you're running um you know like a solar panel with a leisure battery which is how we ran it and it's fantastic so we put the battery down here in the corner when it's pegged out, click that to it, um, and a solar panel outside, only a cheap one, 20 or 30 quid, totally good. We used it for all week long, two weeks and stuff like that. Kept kept running your pump and everything. Also the, the lights, they've got an on and off switch here, which they're connected to the 12 volt as well if you rig it up. Obviously if you hook up with 240, you don't get the pump and you don't get that. But you can buy a transformer that's about 20 quid for the pump if you need it. It's easy to off eBay. So this is the main unit in here. These are the beds that we've made. So my wife's made these. This 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 fabric was bought new off the roll and new foam. So it's really comfy. Um, large bed. So when it, this comes back round here and it still works, look, you can see you've got your elastic. And you can the bed up. If that's what you're going to do at night, you know, to go to bed with privacy. But obviously in the day, you just tie them back. They do tie back, but we just left it like that for now whilst we're showing you. So there's the full-size bed. Um, and then there's another full-size bed here. It's got the cushion behind for sleeping on. And then obviously at the moment, I've got this turned into a, a chair. So there you go. Look, you can sit on your chair. You've got your mesh window here and a window there. And also, if you open it all up, this zips out, this front piece, there's nothing wrong with this. If you want to, you know, have your complete fresh air in your lounge. So that works fine. We've got the carpet with it that's in good condition. But also, we lined all of the side and the base with a the carpet. There is, there, it is a bit dusty underneath. 
where um, the wood's been. Just move, look, because I can show you. That's oh, that's the carpet, look. Yeah, it's got a bit of dust and a bit of straw and bits on it because it's where we are, where we're camped at the moment, where it's put up near the thing. Oh, this is the patch, look, inside. So it's been double patched inside and out. You can see the outer one and the side bit and going down there now this this was done really took us several weeks to complete it all and it doesn't leak and also it's the main anchor unit here that's why we double stitched it it goes right down there as well it's about the same size there down there but it's totally and utterly waterproof and strong it's probably stronger than the original tent now so we don't know how it got damaged but we think maybe someone forced this too high because you need to keep it at the level so it's not too tensioned. These tents are made to flex. So if you try to tension them too much, you can damage them. But they're very strong. When we went last year... You can buy support poles. You can buy support poles, yeah, that click on there. If you want it more rigid. That will make it a bit more rigid because it does flop about a bit. But we're talking very bad weather. Um, we were in Wales and it was very windy. Okay, so now I'm going to just take this down so you can see in the video how it's done. So when, if you buy it, you will realize how we've done it. So all it is, is both sides have, have nails in them. I've drilled a little hole through the wood and then into the unit, right? So that the, we, I keep them in this bag. I know it seems a bit of a faff, but these are quite well made. So then it folds down like that. So then if you want to turn this into a chair, what you do is you turn it round. I'll show you here this way, because you'll see better. So the, this comes, this at the moment's got like a little, like a notch. So you take the notch out and then fold it under and stick it there. And the same with this one. Fold the notch down, the piece of wood, and fold it in there. So it sits like a rest, yeah? And then I've got two little peg things, which then go through the wood and into the hole that I've pre-drilled. These have been waxed as well on the fronts so that, and sanded so they're smooth. So then basically, this has got a wooden back, hard board, and that's the cushion you sit on. So then you lift this into place Obviously you wouldn't usually have the mattress behind it, you'd move it out of the way beforehand. So you put it in there, and then with the two nails again, I've got smaller ones. You then find the holes again. So through the hole and through the hole, just to keep it in place. And then same again, through the hole, through the hole. Now they are a little tight, but done it on purpose so then put your cushion on and then you back rest and then you see in the daytime or into the evening before you go to bed you've then got the bigger settee so we I used to set the TV up in here and things like that now I can't think of as much else there's, there's pockets at the side Oh, there's mesh in the backs of the bedrooms. This is all, pr this is like secondary insulation, you know, a bed that's hooked up, the bedrooms. Through there, it's not open, but there's a zip bit with a vent. So in the summer, you get a nice breeze coming through there into your bedrooms at night. There's storage below there. Yeah, oh, there's storage below, which is massive. You can, it's actually empty at the moment. So the, we put the beds on top because it still folds up because you can go all you can go like up to here with with stacking things. So you can put loads of stuff in here like sleeping bags, anything you might need. Okay, so let's just show this. So they're the they're the they're the things for the beds. So here then this folds up. We've painted all this. This has been done several years ago, so it's lasted well. So close it up, you fold it down, I'll tell you what, I'll do this bit first. So this comes off, it's on little, like, 
rivets, hook things. That's the winder for the legs. So usually that will go in there. Yeah, there's the winder for the legs which fits on the kitchen. So this comes up and you've got like little hooks in. Now we're on, on pretty unlevel ground here. So again, it's not going to be that good. So I use this to access this because of the piece of wood I've put in, you have a job to get into it. I always keep that in the bowl. So then you fold this down and this becomes obviously the back of your trailer when you're traveling. And this is what I meant by this slight damage here, as in stain. It, it might even be from cooking over the years, like grease. It's not from her, us, but it, I, I can't think what else it is. I've not even tried to clean that. It, it's scratchy and it, you know, but it isn't ripped and then there's no damage. It, we did do a little mend here where it had slightly torn and that's obviously the finishing off of the awning. But usually when you've pegged it out, it's, it looks more like that. Oh, there's a waste pipe as well that comes out down here in the bottom and we and renewed these as well the bungee cord things that pull the side bit down and um, all the lights work for as far as I know when we last used it no problem I've got to take that number plate off but um, the casings are fine there's a slight mend on here with some tape a bit of a crack but again it's completely fine and um, the legs all wind down we might have a spare tire for it but I can't actually remember which is which if there's one with this vehicle, but the tires are pretty good on it. But then I can't remember how good, but they're certainly fine when we last Just used the it. Basket hanging out the side of the kitchen. Oh yeah, and this is the basket. This is a basket of thing that we bought, which again you can have that for free. Um, we put a new pump tap on it because that had been cut off as well, broken. So it's got a new pump and tap, new new water tank um, plug. Um, it's got three burners that all work and again we've got the key for this but we haven't got the key for um, the um, like I say the other side there's no locks on the actual trailer itself but it's so massive you can't do anything with it okay so I would think that's it in it we've covered everything oh there's some slight bend with some of the poles it's just it's age and like I say th this is not um, We've not got this tensioned out right or anything. It's just put up as is on this rough ground. So it's obviously not going to look that great. But it's quite a big unit. Um, when this is fully stretched out, I don't know what it is, but I'd say it's looking like three metres at least across the front. Could be four or well, no more actually, I suppose. Hard to say, but you might be able to find the details online. You can't find that much detail because when we bought it, it's not the easiest because they're getting a fairly old now but yeah but like I say it's in surprisingly good nick for its age and with all the issues we've replaced everything we can so it's a pretty good thing oh these are the um spare things from the from you know the Isabel clips and stuff so if you lose any there's all spares there that, that clip them all on so I think that's it actually I can't think there's no nothing else I think we've covered everything so yeah I'm sure whoever buys it whatever you know providing you don't pay stupid money for it and I'm sure you're not going to but it'll be a cheap trailer um, that's very roomy and very comfortable it's got it's lovely the the lounge area with the door going into it's very nice it, it creates a nice um, we've had many trailer tents we've got another one we're going to be selling that's over here um, a smaller one a miracle um that's only a tuba but we, we basically we've got three trailer tents and we only go on like one holiday a year now and like i say this was bought with a specific idea of using it for a youth group camp every year where this was going to be where me and my wife stayed in and you know cooked in for them all but but things changed in covid and all that we never used it so we put all the effort in to man make it really good and we ended up using it for a summer holiday a few times ourselves. Um, so anyway, it is what it is. Thanks for watching.